Hello YouTube, this is uh, Coding for Noobs, and uh, instead of doing the second client tutorial, I just thought I'd skip on to kind of like the third tutorial, and it'll be uh, creating server instead, because it'll make more sense to go in this order. So uh, we're going to create a new project, and this time it's going to be a Windows Form application, and this time we're going to call it TCP uh, Server Tutorial. I can't type shit. Uh, anyways. Alright, uh, let it load up the shit and uh, pin this here. And... Alright. Anyways, we're not going to do anything with the form in this tutorial. Actually, what we're going to be doing is actually creating the connection class. So, add a class and uh, we're going to call it T uh, client because it's going to be a TCP client. Basically, this is almost like remaking the actual client module or client console application, just a little bit different. Instead of connecting, we're going to be uh, taking an already existing connection and creating or connecting our server side client to it. Um, it doesn't really make sense now, it'll make sense in the next tutorial actually. But uh, for now, we're just going to do uh, imports system.io like before, system.net, system.net.sockets, and uh, system. Actually, I think that should be it for uh, this. And uh, okay, now we need a few variables, and we're going to make a private uh, client as TCP client, and uh, private addy as string, and uh, okay, we'll just do that for now. Uh, next thing we'll need is we'll be using events to send uh, to send data to our uh, form one. So we'll need a public event uh, incoming uh, by the C as T client and uh, data by the data as string. And uh, we'll do one more called public event disconnected by the C as T client and by the uh, actually we just need T client there. Um, anyway, so basically when we have uh, or when we receive data, we're going to call the event incoming and it's going to send form one our client. So it's going to tell them what client it came from, which will be this client, and the data that we read from the client from the network stream. Now down here we're going to do a sub new. So uh, by the client as TCP client, and uh, that's it. And now we got to do client equals or no, sorry me dot client. So the variable up top here, our uh, public variable or our private variable, sorry, is going to be equal to client, which is when we create a new instance of T client. They're sending us a TCP client from uh, that's trying to connect to us. Um, before I do the IP address and stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and check in with longer, more, or just longer voting, which is uh, sub receive and uh, sub send. Five, or we're going to do a public sub send, sorry, five uh, data. Uh, string and our sub receive is going to be uh, private. And here, private. And uh, again, this will be an async server, so our above all, i as i async result. So just like before, when the client, so when the module or the console application is trying to send data to our server, we're going to raise this. So client uh, me dot client dot get stream dot begin read new byte zero zero address of receive and we're sending nothing. And you can copy and uh Paste that down here, and here we're also going to create a try statement. So if we can't receive any data 
and if we have some kind of error reading from it, well then the connection no longer exists. So we're going to raise event, uh, event disconnected, and uh, we'll do me. And what this is saying is uh, whenever uh, we can't receive data, it, it means that, um, sorry, I'm kind of stuttering. Um, basically, when we can't receive data, it means the connection no longer exists and we'll be getting some kind of error saying the connection no longer exists so we're just going to disconnect the client or tell form one to remove it from our list view later on um, there's no parsing here so um, but we are going to declare a temp string a string equals string uh, empty so we're going to create a new string again like before and we're going to dim r as new stream reader of uh, new dot client dot get stream and uh, temp str equals r dot read line yet again and then we're gonna raise event incoming and we're gonna send me and uh, temp string so what this is gonna do is uh, when we start receiving data we're gonna create a new string and a new stream reader for the network stream. Uh, our new string is going to hold whatever we read from our network stream and we're going to raise an event called incoming and our event's going to send our client, our TCP client and our uh, whatever data we read from the network stream. Then we're going to loop and continue trying to receive data. Um, now we're going to send data. So uh, try and again if we can't send data then we're going to raise event uh, event disconnect because if we can't send data then there's no connection um, then we got to create a uh, dim w as new stream writer of uh, new dot client dot get stream so there oh shit and then uh, w dot write line data And w dot flush. Okay, so what this is doing is when they call our uh, sub send, uh, we'll be creating a new stream reader that gets the network stream of our client, and uh, we're going to write to the stream our data, and then we're going to flush the data into the stream. That way, the client will receive it. Uh, basically, this is our TCP client uh, class for our server side. There's just a bit more I have to do. I'll do that in the next video. There's probably three more videos of the basic setup, and then we'll get into features and stuff that, like sending screenshots and stuff like that. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment.